And there was another big police operation this morning, this time in Mandra. Alice Pooley is live in Dudley Park tonight. Alice, it all started when a woman was shot. That's right, Tim. This all started in the early hours of this morning when a 75-year-old woman was shot in the upper chest area. It ended at about 12 noon when the tactical response group stormed her property. Tonight, police, forensics and two specialist squads are still here trying to piece together exactly how this deadly shooting happened. Streets in lockdown, families forced to stay inside. Around 8 this morning, 75-year-old Nola James fled her home with a gunshot wound. Then police and the TRG swarmed the property, trying to negotiate with the 67-year-old man inside. They seem to be at the front and they were all hiding behind the front wall and um, yelled out a few times, you know, come out, the house is surrounded and no, no really response sort of thing and then sort of like... Within five minutes, you see, and they must have knocked down the side gate or something and went in. There's tactical response in the bushes, so I'm sure it's pretty safe. We were worried earlier, though, because the cops told us that nobody was safe. It was 12.30 when heavily armed police stormed the home inside the victim's husband dead. Police say next to the 67-year-old's body was a gun and when his elderly wife ran from the home she was also carrying a rifle. We understand both of these firearms are licensed. The woman fled to a neighbour's home where he called triple zero. Nine News understands she has chest injuries. The siege forced Dudley Park Primary School into lockdown. Children sheltering inside classrooms while teachers guarded the gate. As soon as we walked in the classroom, a message came over the PA just um, saying to lock all the, the classroom doors and all the, the students must stay inside. So that was a bit scary when we heard that. The crime scene now a protected forensic area while police investigate. At this stage, no, we don't know what's caused. There doesn't appear to be any significant argument prior to the event. Alice Pooley, Nine News. And Alice Pooley is still at the crime scene in Mandra tonight. Alice, how is the victim doing? Well, Tim, remarkably, this 75-year-old only has minor injuries. She was hit in the chest with bullets, we understand, and she was raced to Peel Health Campus, where she was questioned for quite some time by major crime detectives and police while she was being treated. She has since been discharged. She was discharged late this afternoon, but she hasn't returned here to her Gulmar Street home, likely because police are still here. They do still have the home in lockdown and surrounding properties as well. The good news is Gulmar Street is the only street now which is still closed to traffic. Surrounding streets have been reopened, but we do expect police to be here for quite some time still doing their work. Tim. Thank you, Alice.